hey and welcome back to the revolution and some more WWE 2K20 news as moments ago 2K unveiled a bunch of information regarding this year's universe mod. To be sure you don't miss out on any of our WWE 2K20 coverage be sure to hit that bell icon and subscribe to the channel. You can also head on over to our official website revolution.com where you'll find a breakdown of all of today's news and so much more. Following the reveal of yesterday's online news, 2K just unloaded a bunch of universe mod updates featuring a hefty update for the women in this year's game. I'm just going to say right off the bat that over the last few years I've completely fallen out of touch with universe mod and the closest I get to actually dealing with anything from universe mod is the assets as part of create a video. Now that's not to say that I don't enjoy elements of the universe mod because I really do and there are some pretty sweet things in there, especially for me I really like the pro mention. Even if the dialogue is completely random, then the AI really just come out with some utter garbage. But it's all just a little bit of fun. But that's enough of what I think. Let's break down today's announcement. Starting in WWE 2K20, major and minor show limits have been increased from 7 matches per card to 9. Following that, we have pay per view match limits being doubled from 7 to a whopping 14 in total, similar to that in real life WWE programming. Interestingly, pay per views can now be hosted by 3 shows instead of the previous 2. The number of championship titles per major show have now increased to 7 instead of 6, with rivalries on major shows now being increased from 3 to 4. This year, WWE 2K20 boasts that players will have more freedom than previous years when it comes to their own shows, with more leniency than ever when it comes to deleting and adding promos and matches, with 3,014 new promo lines added as part of this year's game. Not only that, but 50 of the most frequently used cutscenes have now been reshot with female mocap actors to give a more authentic feel when it comes to using female superstars. On top of that, WWE 2K20 will see 25 brand new cutscenes added to the long line of cutscenes already implemented in the game. Alongside additions to cutscenes, this year's universe mod will allow players to host their very own mixed match challenge with the addition of mixed tag team matches as part of match tables. Along with that, new championship match settings have also been applied to match tables, allowing players to incorporate certain title matches both shows and pay-per-views. Main event matches in match tables have also been updated so that specific match types are more likely to occur on themed pay-per-view events such as the Royal Rumble match at the Royal Rumble and the Hell in a Cell match at the Hell in a Cell pay-per-view. This year 2K have brought in new rivalry content which will see a gradient in feud intensity with superstars in a low intensity feud having the option to make peace after a single pay-per-view or those with a mid intensity feud slowly falling out over a course of time instead of a sudden heel turn. This year's universe mode boasts a more streamlined flow perfect for those of us who will be returning to universe this year or those who have yet to pick the mode up. For those who are experts and huge fans of the universe mod, 2K20 offers fans an even deeper option when it comes to the mod, allowing fans to make their ultimate WWE universe. As part of the universe screenshots, we also received a quick look at some more of the women's models for this year's game, with Sonya Deville, Mandy Rose and Ember Moon all spotting their evolution attires from last year's pay-per-view, alongside Kairi Sane who spots her Royal Rumble attire from earlier this year. The screenshot also seemingly confirms that both Fire and Desire and the Kabuki Warriors will be default tag teams in this year's game, so hopefully we get their tag team titantrons and if we're really lucky, maybe a tag team entrance animation. As I said at the start of the video, I have lost touch with the universe mode and I often find it a little too rinse and repeat for my liking, so I tend to stick to the likes of exhibition and online mode where I have complete control over the match I want to play. I will say however that I am absolutely loving the attention for the women yet again in this year's game and the fact that we finally have more female cutscenes, albeit rehashed male motions, is rather awesome and I can only hope that the cutscenes make their way over to create a video or maybe a brand new create a story mod. So that's our brief rundown of today's universe mod as well as a quick look at the women and if you've enjoyed this video please leave a like or comment below as it really does help the channel. You can always find a breakdown of today's news over on our official website revolution.com as well as all the latest UK20 news and so much more. Until next time, I've been The Revolution and I hope you all have a wonderful day.